Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Friday, June 12th, 2020. Uh, today's Bibles and Barbells video is going to focus on a workout topic. The topic is shoulders, and I'm going to do a multiple movement. I'm going to do shoulder press seated. I'm going to do shoulder dumbbell presses seated and a shoulder lateral raise uh, seated one after the other to keep blood into the muscle and to hit the shoulder muscles from different angles okay and then after the video demonstration of this uh, we'll go into our Bible study verse for the day okay so let's get on with the shoulder press so I'm gonna I have a straight bar here in my power rack I'm sitting in an upright position on my bench I've got a weight belt on, my back is fairly supported, I'm nice and tight, I've done a warm up, stretching, some ab work prior to this, and so I'm ready to do my, this would be my second set right now. So I'm going to take the weight off, and I'm going to go behind the neck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down nice and slow and under control breathing out on the way up in when you're done with your set you rack your weight or you have a spotter to help you you go right into your dumbbell portion of the lift one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Dumbbells down. Grab your next set for seated lateral shoulder raises. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, down. <sighs> Flex and squeeze in between sets. Get some blood to the shoulders. Rest a little bit and get ready for your next set. You want to do at least four working sets, not including your warm-up. Thanks for joining me. Questions and comments in the description box. And now we'll get into the word. Hey guys, Anthony here for the second part of our workout. This is the spiritual portion of the Bibles and Barbells ministry workout. Uh, today we're going to look at a chapter in 2 Corinthians, and it's chapter 5. So if you don't, if you have your Bibles, turn there and read along with me. So I'm going to read chapter 5 in 2 Corinthians uh, and make a few comments on it, and then we'll close. 
Okay? Okay, starting in verse 1, chapter 5, 2 Corinthians. For we know that if our earthly house, a tent, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. And in fact, we groan in this one, longing to put on our house from heaven, since when we are clothed, we will not be found naked. Indeed, we who are, we who are in this tent groan, burdened as we are, because we do not want to be unclothed, but clothed, so that mortality may be swallowed up by life. And the one who prepared us for this very thing is God, who gave us the Spirit as a down payment. Therefore, though we are always confident and know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we who are confident and satisfied to be out of the body and at home with the Lord. Therefore, whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to be pleasing to him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may be repaid for what he has done in the body, whether good or bad. Knowing then the fear of the Lord, we persuade people. We are completely open before God. And I hope we are completely open to your consciences as well. We are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you an opportunity to be proud of us so that you may have a reply for those who take pride in the outward appearance rather than in the heart. For if we are out of our mind, it is for God. If we have a sound mind, it is for you. For Christ's love compels us since we have reached this conclusion, if one died for all, then all died. And he died for all so that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for the one who died for them and was raised. From now on, then, we do not know anyone in a purely human way. Even if we have known Christ in a purely human way, yet, we now, yet now we no longer know him like that. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old has passed away, and look, new things have come. Now everything is from God, he who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them. And he has committed the message of re reconciliation to us. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. Certain that God is appealing through us, we plead on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. He made the one who did not know sin to be sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Now, I know that's a lot of meat today, to look at. So take the time in your quiet time today or this weekend to go over this verse by verse, pray about it and look at it. We're just going to, I'm just going to make a few comments and then we'll close today's study. Um, this is a, 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 a phenomenal chapter in second Corinthians and the apostle Paul unpacks so much for us. So one of the things he talks about is this earthly house we have, that's our body. And Paul refers to it as a tent. When we put a tent up as campers or bushcrafters or survivalists, we know uh, for the most part it's a temporary thing. Our bodies in this world right now, our earthly bodies are a temporary house for a permanent, longer lasting, eternal body. Okay? So that's one of the things that Paul compares to the the earthly body to a tent. Uh, secondly, we walk by faith. We walk by faith. A believer, one who has repented of their sin, turned to the Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, turned to him for salvation, for the forgiveness of sins and the power of his resurrection from the dead. These people, those people, we believers are born again. We're a new 
creation. We walk by faith, not by sight. And we're confident that to be out of the body is to be home with the Lord, but even to be here is still in this earthly tent. We are still called to work for him because in, in verse 10 it says we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That is as believers we still have to appear before this judgment seat, this, this bima seat if you will. Uh, the bima was a, like a, a huge platform in, in ancient Corinth, uh, almost like a stage. And the ambassadors or the, the city leaders or the civic leaders would go out on this bima and make a proclamation or uh, uh, announce a judgment or a law on this bema seat. And so Paul is comparing that uh, as believers, we will stand before this bema, this judgment seat, and Yeshua, Jesus Christ, will stand as judge of the things we did while in the body and burn off those things that were bad and purify the things that were good, that we did with a good moral intent and not a selfish intent. So that's an important uh, verse in verse 10. Uh, another one, for Christ's love compels us, verse 14, uh, one died for all, then all died. One died for one man, the man Christ Jesus, died for all sin. Therefore, those that know him all died through him. We give our life in exchange for his righteousness, our sin exchange for his perfectness verse 17 of a famous verse uh, that you may hear maybe you didn't hear maybe you're a new believer and you haven't heard this verse yet or maybe you're not a believer and you're looking or seeking uh, God and God is working the Holy Spirit might be working and that's why you're watching this video therefore if anyone is in Christ so if anyone is a believer in Christ there is a new creation you may not see it outwardly you may look the same but inwardly, you are a new creation. The old you has passed away. So old things have passed away. And look, new things have come. A spirit, his spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, has been placed inside of you to do work for the kingdom. New creation you are. So it goes on to say we have this ministry of reconciliation, reconciling others to Christ, pointing them to to Yeshua. Uh, so therefore, Paul compares us believers as ambassadors, just like you see an ambassador to, if the president appoints somebody to the ambassador to uh, another country, uh, that person in that other country is a representant, representation of all that America stands for. He's an ambassador, a goodwill ambassador for all the things that we believe in as a nation, okay? Um, so we're ambassadors as believers to Christ. Uh, and, and finally, he closes, he made the one who did not know sin, the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, was perfect in his earthly body. He was without sin. Uh, so um, he was able to take sin for us. He took the sin of the world, Yahweh placed all sin, past, present, and future, in history, on to, to Yeshua, his son. And Yeshua died for that sin, or paid the price, reconciling all who would come to him. Reconciling is making the books right. Okay, we get on the right side of the book, we're reconciled now. The books balance out. He paid for that sin, our sin, therefore giving us, imputing, imputing his righteousness into us through the Spirit, okay? It all makes sense when you really look at it like that, okay? So we might become the righteousness of God in him, and that's the end of uh, the verse in chapter 5. So take some time this weekend, meditate on those verses, pray, um, pray for our country. Uh, there are very many evil things going on in our country, but um, when that happens... We tend to uh, fly off the handle sometimes, I know I do, and get heated and want to react, but we need to take some time, and that's what I did today. I worked out, um, worked on my physical body, and now I'm working on my spiritual body, and that's why this ministry is called Bibles and Barbells, okay? We want to get you to think, feel, and act, 
and we want to address mind, body, and spirit. I will be rolling out a new ministry that actually I wrote in, in, um, in 2008. It's been sitting on the shelf, never rolled it out. I think I've been praying about it, and I think I'm going to roll it out uh, soon, very soon. This is it here. Um, I'll give you a hint. It's got a military name. It's called the Delta Team, and Delta stands for something, and I'll go over that when I roll out this ministry, and uh, I am, uh, am inviting all those on my YouTube channel to take part in it. It's nothing you have to uh, attend, uh, go somewhere and attend something. You could do it right online, and then we're going to um, equip one another, um, sharpen one another to go out into the world and be those ambassadors that Paul's talking about. And this ministry, with the Word of God and with the help of His Spirit, is going to help us do that. And I hope it makes a big impact. I pray it makes a big impact on YouTube uh, and beyond. Okay, so that's coming soon. So be in prayer for that. Thank you for your uh, views, your subscriptions. Uh, please comment below, like, share the video. Anthony, signing off. Stay ready. God bless. Father, I ask... My prayer today is for all those watching this video, Father. You would lift them up today, this weekend. Give them your power, your strength that comes only through you, your spirit. Uh, put it on them, Father, and help them to go out into the world to be the ambassadors that you call them to, reconciling others to your son, Yeshua. It's in his name I pray. 